Hi Gemini, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of December the 28th to January the 4th. Well, we made it through Christmas and now we have New Year's to look forward to. I wish you all a happy New Year and a new start to 2016. I want to thank you for watching my channel, for sharing uh, my videos with your friends and family, for the subscribers coming in, leaving me beautiful, kind, and optimistic uh, remarks behind these videos and for all the people uh, trusting me to do private readings for you. I want to thank you for that and I am truly blessed. We start our week on Monday, Gemini, with a water card and you have been given the two of water. This is telling me that some of you are in a relationship right now and that it's continuing to grow closer. And the reason it's growing closer is they show me that there had been some difficulty uh, in this relationship a little while ago and that the word they're sending out is forgiveness. And it's growing closer because there was an issuing and an accepting of forgiveness. This forgiveness is going to cause a positive resolution to any conflicts coming into that relationship. On Tuesday, you've been given an air card and you have been given the page of air. Now, the air cards have to do with communication. They have to do with the justice and injustice coming in and often the legal system. This is telling me some of you are going to be re receiving some challenging information coming in. And there will be some delays or changes to plans that you have been making. Now, this information is going to be coming in as a truthfulness to you but the person delivering it doesn't have the tact or the finesse to deliver this properly they're not quite that mature this is the page the page is a youth male or female not quite an adult and hasn't learned the wisdom of adulthood so please don't attack the messenger when this message of truthfulness comes in just accept the message Wednesday crowning your week you've been given a major card and you have been given the world this is a this is a great card. This is a perfection card. This is a job well done card. You've made accomplishments, my friend. Um, it's a path towards enlightenment for some of you as well. Basically, this refers to uh, receiving an award, getting uh, getting recognition for a job well done. This can refer to some of you moving to a new house, some of you getting a new job, and some of you receiving a new position within your job. Anyway, you need to feel the freedom of a job well done. On Thursday, my friend, you've been given an earth card. Earth cards have to do with the abundance and the material part of our lives. This is a five of earth, and this speaks about money. Some of you they're showing me are quite stressed out about money, and there's fears surrounding money and you. Um, you need to accept the wisdom of other people, of other professionals, people who have money or who can guide you how to budget your money and how to finance your money properly. Um, those that are self-employed, they're showing me that you seem to have doubts as well. You're uncertain about your self-employment. Please seek out the wisdom and accept help from others. On Friday, the Queen of Fire. Okay, so some of you now have come into your own and you're able to stretch your wings and fly on your own and don't underestimate yourself when you're dealing with situations right now near the end of the week because you can do this. Um, you'll be able to assert yourself independently and, and creativity creatively. Um, you're going to be like this queen of fire, confident and warm and intelligent and graceful. On Saturday you've been given a major card and this is the dreamer. The dreamer is um, is all about a leap of faith. It's all about um, unexpected opportunities coming in. It's having, uh, being able to manifest, believe in manifest and following your dreams because there will be some unexpected opportunities coming into you that uh, you're not expecting and, and that it's going to help you to manifest these dreams. On Sunday, you've been given, pardon me, there you go, the three of earth. Okay, this is telling me that some of you have the power of creativity within yourself and you're going to get recognized for this high quality work that you put out at your place of employment uh, in your career and they show me uh, you get this recognition because you're uh, an excellent team player. 
At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card to tie in this reading, and I chose again the Ascended Masters. The card that my guides gave me for you is follow your heart. So basically, um, accept your own intuition. Go with that. Um, you have the ability to make yourself happy. Happiness is a choice. I tell people this all the time. And follow your heart in order to go wherever it is you want to go on the path for enlightenment and for happiness. Um, it's important that your head and heart are connected, but often when we follow our heart and, uh, and, and, and it leads us to manifest our dreams better. So that's what this card is. It's, it's confirming, it's um, verification that you can make your dreams come true if you truly, truly believe in it. You can manifest it and it will come to pass. I want to thank you again for watching my channel. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Gemini. Again, I leave you with another quote, and I borrowed this quote from another from another medium who's quite uh, well-renowned and famous and uh, a psychic. And this quote is, Communicate, appreciate, and validate the people in your life because you never know when your, la when your last opportunity to do this will be. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, my friend. Happy New Year, and I'll see you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.